Hi, stranger. Hey. <laughs> are you still studying in Taylor's? Are yeah, you... I am. Oh, all right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. What course are you doing? I'm in Mass Comm PR. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Fun fact, I was in law for one semester and that <laughs> was not it. It was not it. Yeah, yeah. Fun fact, I was I was going I was going to do PR and marketing or actually I signed up for PR and marketing and I did law. <laughs> so I took your place, you took my place. Exactly. It was meant to be. Yeah. I, I did my foundation in Taylor's itself. It was good. It was good. What, five years. Oh. Yeah. So you're done. Yeah. Are you still a student? Yeah, I finished last year. Oh, well, then why are you still here? <laughs> <laughs> Pandemic, COVID things. <laughs> yes, my name and age. All right, you, do you want to go first? Or? I'll, I'll go first. Your age, since you said... <laughs> I, should, I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, right? since you said, you're like super old. So, <laughs> five years is a long time to be in university. But I'm going to guess, like from your age, 25. Wow, all right. And my name would be... <laughs> you look like a mix of everything, to be honest. I see, I see. That's interesting. That's a first. So I'm just going to give you a Malay name, a Chinese name, and an Indian name. Go okay? for it. Yeah. So I'm going to give you... You look like an Adam. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Adam, Sam, Shurada. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to... I think you're 20 at most, and you look like a Sarah. So 20-year-old Sarah. Okay. I don't mind the age, honestly. Yeah, how, uh, how old are you? Okay, I'm 21. All right, okay, okay, you're 21. And was Sarah close or...? So far. <laughs> My name is Nurin. Right, with a Y? No. <laughs> uh, N-U-R-I-N. Right, okay, I assumed that I was a Y. Yeah, wrong. <laughs> My, My name is Lucas and I'm 24. So, pretty close. We're, we're both one year apart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you could instantly be an expert in a subject, what would it be? Go ahead. I want you to answer okay. first. Yeah. Okay. On three. Yeah. Right? I three. Would... Okay, on three. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three. Math. Ew. <laughs> I literally told you I take mass calm. Okay, you know what? Let's do it again. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On three, okay? Okay. One, two, three. Ancient Egypt. Ancient what? Egypt. Ancient Egypt. Wow. All right. That's interesting. Your answer is boring. <laughs> I, I, I used to be so bad. I'm not, yeah, I used to be. I still am super bad at math. Which is why I ended up doing law instead. So, yeah, I never could. I never could. <laughs> I chose Ancient Egypt because, like, last week, I watched the mummy movies. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also, since I was small, I've always wanted to be the... Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've always wanted to be the, the guy who, like, brushes the dirt. Archaeologist? Yes, the archaeologist. But, like. You can also brush dirt, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You can do it here as well. Yeah, but over here. <laughs> <laughs> what would constitute a perfect day for you? Wow. Hmm. I think for me, it, it would have to be a weekend where I'm not working. Like, either going for jogs or walks and getting brunch. Yeah, I know it's super boring, but it's it's been two years. <laughs> It's been two years and <laughs> my perfect day is like living normally. <laughs> the only thing we've been able to do, I think, is stay at home. Yeah, which we have been doing very responsibly. Everyone should get vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> have you been fully vaccinated or just one? Yeah, two doses, finally. And for yourself, what would be a perfect day for you? Okay. Getting vaccine? <laughs> no. Um my perfect day would be going to the beach. I don't know, it's really pretty and I like going to pretty places. Yeah. Um, and picnics and just, you know, 
Okay, what do you think my weakness is? Wow. <laughs> Boring people. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Is that a good guess, huh? Yes. I feel like my weakness would be the house lizards. Yeah, you know, that, oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have a random question. If you were, if there was a cockroach or a house lizard, which one would you be more scared of? A house lizard. I am not afraid of cockroaches. Right, but if the cockroach was flying. <laughs> Are you have... scared of reptiles as well, or just lizards? Reptiles, no. Like I'm not scared of snakes or like okay. even like the big monitor lizards. Like I'm not. It's just the house lizards. <laughs> you're, you're weird. You're weird. <laughs> I'm terrified. I'm terrified of those those like massive lizards, snakes, and stuff like that. But house lizards are super cute. You know, it's. <laughs> Have you ever done something on your bucket list? Oh my goodness, yes! Like I, I think I'm super fortunate and lucky to have ticked off a lot of things on my bucket list. And okay, I'm gonna go with the PG-13 ones. Um, I, I went free diving. I went caving. I've been to. Um, uh, I'm a huge football fan and I've got a list of stadiums I intend on visiting so I've already been to the one in Munich, I've been to the one in Amsterdam which is Ajax Stadium, I've not been to Old Trafford yet which is Manchester United <laughs> but yeah so I've ticked, I've ticked off those things in my bucket list, just a bunch of other things yeah I'm just gonna stop there you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna stop there. But that's the PG stuff right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because okay, I was going to say your bucket list is boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what am I allowed to say? <laughs> That's true. It's not like they're going to take away your diploma. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the most exciting improvement I've been seeing in myself recently? I bought a mic and then... And I, I started like practicing my singing. So oh, do you sing? You sing? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your favorite song? If you could pick one song to sing, like right now, live. No, I'm not gonna say. I know. I'm just asking you to pick a song. If I could sing live, then it would be I think the Madison Spears new song, Reckless. Mm. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is your proudest accomplishment? Fun fact is um, I, I used to stay with a couple of classmates of mine. Um, right after we graduated, actually, we started an F&B business and we were selling bows. You know bows? Like sandwiches. Like sandwiches, yeah. Like sandwiches. So we started selling it from our home and within four months, that was really good reception and we moved into our first outlet. Wow. And we've got zero restaurant experience, we've got zero business experience and moving from our condo kitchen to our first brick and mortar in less than four months with 3,000 ringgit, mind you, like each of us put in a thousand ringgit each. So we only had a thousand ringgit each. Yeah, and we graduated and rather than just waiting because we, we weren't allowed to do anything else, you know, there wasn't any jobs available and everything was closed and was still the height of the pandemic so yeah we did this we took this leap of faith and we're still surviving so yeah I I about as yeah. yeah no because i think fmb is always the way to go when it's business wise yeah yeah and we're fortunate enough so yeah so what would you like to be known and remembered for come on surprise me <laughs> i would like to be known as the prettiest person in the world no <laughs> and I, will, I would have been like really <laughs> <laughs> like to be known no it's still the prettiest but also um i love to do charity in a way but in a way like visiting orphanages because i used to do that every time like the tiny things that you get to do like the when you walk out of a supermarket you get, you can put oil or yeah. uh, food in the basket like it's the tiny things and i'd like would, to would you want to be mother teresa would you want to be remembered like mother teresa no because i think she was ugly <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
Then <laughs> yeah, well, but at least we know you're honest, you know. Honest, and I'm loyal. Exactly. What more do you want? <laughs> ding ding ding, single guys. <laughs> <laughs> for what in your life do you feel most grateful? I think for being alive. I almost I I I met with a really bad accident, and I almost died. And when I say I almost died, I don't mean I don't mean like figuratively. I meant like literally almost died. So I think just being able to survive that episode and being able to enjoy little things is the most grateful thing. I think you only will be able to realize all these little things when it's taken away from you. Like I couldn't walk for two months. Um, I couldn't go to the toilet properly. I had to pee in a bucket for two months. Everything is just taken away from you, and that's when you actually realize, like, hey, okay, guess I gotta be appreciative of being able to walk. <laughs> So at least you're grateful for the right things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Name one thing you love about yourself that isn't physical. Damn. How do I decide? I love my eyebrows. I love my. <laughs> oh, that isn't physical. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm supposed to ask you. Okay, huh? that's kind of scary. Yeah. Nothing. N- nothing. I'm sure you. That I'm sure. Dig deep, honey. I love something. <laughs> you know, how it's like what's on the outside is not what's on the inside. Yeah, my outside is better. <laughs> <laughs> I look kind. I look caring, and mm. inside's just <laughs> <laughs> no. I, in all like seriousness, I think I love that I can make a lot of people happy. That's good. Yeah, that's 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 one thing. That's a good thing to love about yourself. <laughs> when the pandemic is behind us, what change do you want to make in your day to day life? I feel like we all know he wants to go running. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go running, and <laughs> let this boy run. <laughs> I think everyone would need a change in routine. I think I speak for everyone when I say that we all need to get out of our houses. I feel Zoom, Microsoft Teams has taken its toll on half of us, and be it work or pleasure or whatever, you know, it's. I feel like everyone just needs to go out. Everyone just needs to socialize. Everyone just needs to live and breathe again. And I feel the only change I want is to go back to the constant that was. Mm-hmm. Before the pandemic, so yeah, uh, I would just have to go back on camp because, like, imagine graduating without even going on camp. Like, I, I, I haven't had my graduation. Can you imagine that? Yeah, graduation yeah, you haven't had your graduation. That's like after. I think I just really want to wear a robe and throw my hat. <laughs> throw my hat on. You can do that now. I know, but then it's fake. <laughs> I don't want to be no fake person. <laughs> All right, so when this game is over, what will you remember about me? I'm gonna remember the fact that we both switch parts. Mm. You know? It's like some Freaky Friday kind of thing where we switched, and you were supposed to do law, but you switched and did mass com and vice versa. So that will definitely be one thing that I remember about you. That's great. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> yeah, I guess like uh, I remember that she's so pretty. <laughs> okay, um, I didn't say that. She said that. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, okay, so what I would remember about you is that you love running, and you had to pee in a bucket for two months. <laughs> and, okay, I'm gonna make you sound really nice, okay? Thank you. What I yeah. remember about you is that you're so humble, and you remember the tiny little things in life, and you enjoy that. That is amazing. I, I couldn't ask for a better thing to remember me by. Thank you so much. I will remember you for that. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, 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 really nice talking to you. I think it's really interesting. Um, to, to speak to current Taylor students who are still studying amidst the pandemic, you know. Yeah. I, I had no idea how that was like. I had the full campus experience and the time you spend in campus and stuff like that, it's it's the best years that you're, it's the best period of your life, you know. That's, yeah, so it's really, but how is everything studying during 
the pandemic. Like, I love it. I love it because I was in online school. I haven't been able to make friends. Mm-hmm. So and everybody else sucks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. <laughs> That's the trouble. We was waiting for that, you know. <laughs> no, but it was really fun talking to you too, especially really yeah, especially talking to a student who already graduated and can't move on. <laughs> <laughs> come, uh, speaking of which, come and visit. I really hope to see you after the pandemic is over. Come and visit the restaurant. I would love for you to. Come and try what three law students have in store. <laughs> exactly. So we're, called, we're called the Pau Guys, by the way. Yeah. Oh, the Pau Guys. That's so yeah. cute. Exactly. We are the three founders. We're really <laughs> cute as well. Yeah. Are you all from law? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> plug, shameless plug. <laughs> That's really nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. So, bye. See you soon. Bye.